Hello and welcome back to another Learn Python by Example tutorial. It's been a very long time since I got a chance to do one of these and I do apologize to you guys who do enjoy it. I know I've got a bunch of messages from guys saying, hey, when are you bringing it back? So I found some time today to do one and what we're going to do is build on the dictionary that we were working on a couple months ago. Um, and the dictionary that we wrote was, it's pretty lame and simple. Uh, we want to make it more dynamic. We want to be able to add um, terms if we have to, and uh, um, we also want to be able to search for terms, right? So <clears throat> this is the one we wrote before, and we have a dictionary, and it has a term as a key, and then the value is the definition, um, and then we're able to search it. Uh, that's spelled wrong. That should be uh, C-A-S-E fold anyhow and then if search a dictionary and then we uh, pull up the word and return it to the user um, that's you know a pretty lame program so what we're going to do is we're going to um, give the ability to uh, write to the dictionary um, to a file and it's going to be a JSON file uh, when I write to files in my Python programs I usually choose JSON um, just because it's easy to comprehend from a human standpoint, unlike binary where I can't read binary. So um, JSON is a JavaScript or it stands for JavaScript object notation and it's a lightweight data structure. It basically looks just like a Python dictionary. All right. So it's easy for me to comprehend. So that's what we're going to write to. And it's it's lightweight so we can um, store a lot of data in there. And it doesn't, you know, take up much room. So that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. Um, and I'm going to use some functions. We haven't wrote any functions, I don't believe, in the in this tutorial series. So we'll take a look at writing functions as well. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need is uh, JSON. Um, so we're going to import the JSON package, just like that, or module. I believe it's a package. Anyhow, um, all right. So we import JSON. Um, we're going to want to ask the user, uh, do they want to search or do they want to add a term? So let's just uh, get a response to represent the user's input. So we're going to um, assign that to input. And then in here we'll just have a uh, search uh, terms or add term. All right. And then I'm going to do a backslash n that will give me a new line. Then I'm going to do enter. Uh, search or uh, search or write so whatever the user puts in here we will um, either search or allow them to write to the file okay all right so we got that part so if we go and run our program we should get some kind of input correct so I'm gonna do Python 3 um, I didn't mention I did save my file as dictionary3.py on my desktop so that's how I'm going to run it dictionary3.py all right and it says search terms or add term and it says enter search or write I'm gonna, I would put search like that and it should um, allow me to search through the uh, uh, database for the term so that being said let's um, do something with the users uh, input so let's do uh, an if statement so we can test the users input if response all right dot uh, we're going to use case fold because if the user uses a capital or doesn't use a capital we want to still be able to um, return something so the way that we can ensure that our terms gonna match what the user puts in we can use case fold to make them all lowercase so we'll use case fold just like this equal equal to and then we'll say search all lowercase because we're using case fold all right um, then we'll uh, we'll just print search for now um, what if the user puts in right? So we'll do elif response, same thing, um, case fold, and equal equal to right. And we'll print 
write. So the user will just say it will print back. We're just basically testing our program right now. And then else, uh, we'll just print program failed or something like that. Um, no, let's not put program fail because this, if the user spells something wrong, so we'll just say, uh, uh we'll just say, uh, yeah, we'll just say program fail. What the hell? All right. So <clears throat> let's run that again. Just drawing a blank there for a second. Um, so if we do search, we should get search back. All right, cool. And if we do write, we should get write back. All right, cool. So that's working. All right, next thing we need to do is um, give some kind of uh, functionality to these uh, if statements because we need to res respond with something we want them to do. Up here, we're going to go ahead and write a function, all right? And we're going to do the search function first. So we're going to define a function. We'll call it search. It'll take no arguments. At, yeah, it'll take no arguments. So let's go ahead and do a search. Uh, and I can't call it search. So we'll call it search term. And we're going to um, set that equal to uh, user's input because we're going to take the user's input. And we'll do um, enter a search term. Just like that, all right? Now, we're gonna have to be able to go into the uh, JSON file. So let's go ahead and create a JSON file first. So I'm gonna go up, uh, just do Command, Command N, we'll create a new file. Command S, we'll save that file. And I'm gonna save it to my desktop as dictionary. You guys can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it dictionary3.json just so I know what the heck this is when I wake up tomorrow. So I can delete it, there we go. All right, so now we gotta search JSON. So let's go ahead and do um, with, and then we're gonna open JSON file, and we need the name of our JSON file, so it's dictionary3.json, all right. Um, and then as data, so we want to save the uh, data in there as data, and then we'll do uh, term underscore data, set that equal to JSON dot load data, just like that. All right, so we're gonna load the file in here json's going to load the data into term data all right and then we're going to search term data all right so we'll do a uh, print and yeah we'll do the search in the print there we go um so we're going to return the term return the definition We'll use format to format our string and I'll put search term. So this is the term the user looks for. And then we're going to search the uh, JSON data for our search term to return the definition. So we'll do search data in name, not search data, search term. So I'll show you what's going on here in a second once I can freaking spell term. There we go. All right, so <clears throat> we're opening up dictionary uh, three dot JSON, and then we're gonna load the data from that with uh, JSON load. All right, and it's gonna be held in this or this variable is gonna represent that data. Then we're gonna go through and we're gonna print, and the first thing we're gonna print is the search term the user looks. Uh, look for and then um, in here we're going to search through the term data using search term when it finds a search term it's going to return to us the definition so that's what we're doing right there so let's go ahead and give this a try so let's go ahead and make a um, dictionary in here and we're going to say car and I'll just say it has wheels all right 
just to return something to us. Save that. Let's go ahead and run this thing and hopefully it works. So we'll do search like this and it didn't work because I've down here we're going to take out search and we're going to add our function so we'll do a uh, search like that all right so now if we get a uh, if the user searches for search it's going to return this function and we'll go through that so let's do this search and our term car car has wheels awesome that's what we're looking for. All right. Man. Now let's figure out how we are going to write data to it. Um, another function. So we'll define a function. We'll call this one write. This one will take no arguments as well. And we're going to say uh, we're going to get the term the user wants to create. So we'll do term input. And we'll say enter term just like that. So we'll get the term. Um, then we're going to define the term. So we'll do define term. And we'll get the user's input for this as well. And we'll say define enter. Uh, we'll do enter the definition for term just like that. All right, so now we got the user's term and their definition for the term. Now here's where we will run into an issue. Actually, I'll show you the issue we're going to run into before I fix that issue. Um, for us to write in JSON, we're going to kind of do something similar up here, but we're just going to say, hey, write, basically, instead of um, doing uh, opening it up here. So what we're going to do is uh, with open... And we're gonna name our, our grab our dictionary file, dictionary th three dot JSON, and then uh, comma write w it represents uh, write as data. All right, whoops, that should be a colon. And then we're gonna do uh, JSON dot dumps no dump dumps write to a file dumps will not write to a file so we'll do term underscore no, that's not gonna work uh, we gotta combine these two so let's do this um, we need a variable um, uh, just call it terms for now and put it in the dictionary and we'll do term colon define term boom just like that and then we're gonna put terms comma data all right save that put our right function down here in the elif right whoops right all right save that and let's try to write something here now there's going to be an issue that we are faced with and you'll see it in a second. Enter term python programming language and I'll just show you this way. You see we had car and wheel something about wheels in here. What 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 it happened is it overrode our dictionary, okay? Um, or overwrote our JSON data in there. So we need a solution to that. So to fix the issue uh, at hand, we're going to take this out. We'll say uh, see you later. Um, what we need to do is open the file first, take that data, put it in a variable, and then save the data, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and open the file first. So make comment open. Um, and then move this one down. And we'll do open, or no, comment, comment, write. So you guys know the difference. And it's been a long day. All right, so let's do um, with open dictionary. 
dictionary three dot json we'll do as data again and this time we're going to do um term data and json dot load data all right so now we're loading our data in from our json file now we need to um store oh we're storing the data in term data um we're gonna have to append or no we're gonna have to add the new term to the dictionary that's being stored here so we'll do something like this term underscore data uh in here term and then it's equal to define term that should work and then we'll do um term data down here this all should work so what we're doing is we're um, adding the term up here to the dictionary as a key and then we're um, adding define term as a value to the dictionary term data and term data is representing all the information in our dictionary in our JSON file Whew. all right now this should work hopefully all right, Python three, right, and we're gonna say uh, Java programming language. Boom. Now, I mean, I could search in there, but I want to see. It. All right, cool. So we got our Python programming language from the previous one that we added, and then we basically just appended Java and programming language. So now when you run your program, you can either search or you could write and it keeps your data. Previously, we weren't able to do that with the way our program was set up. Um, cool. So I think that's all we're going to do today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys have any ideas, um, that would be helpful with the uh, Python by example. Just uh Go ahead and leave a message over at Master Code Online. Uh, I'll see what I can do to keep these tutorials going. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.